Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Bernthal and I work for the ESU. Um, I am going to be making some videos for you to teach you how to use WeVideo, which is the program that we'll be using to create your science project videos. So WeVideo is a program that we can sign up for for free and it's found online. So the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser and you can use whichever one you like. Once your browser is open, you can go ahead up to the address line and type in www.wevideo.com and hit enter. The WeVideo website will come up and we'll want to go over into this corner and click log in. Once you choose log in, go ahead and say you want to sign in with Google. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your VCS Badger Google account. So um, if yours doesn't appear here, it will probably just have you put in your full email address and password. So go ahead and put in your VCS Badger Google account information. Since you are new to WeVideo, it will probably show this screen where it says get started with WeVideo Hub and you can watch the video. Um, you're certainly welcome to watch it later if you want, but for now you can go ahead and just click close. Once you've closed that screen, um, you should see your name pop up here and then the option to create a new video. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll also see your account summary. Um, we're just using the free account. We don't want to have to pay for ours. So you'll see that we only get five minutes of time each month. So that's something to keep in mind as you're creating your video. You need to make sure that it is under five minutes or we won't be able to export it to use um, at the end of the project. So just be careful of that when you're putting your clips together and know that it can only be five minutes long. So we're going to scroll back up to the top and we're going to go ahead and click on create a new video. The next screen that will pop up is it will ask you why you're using it. When it asks you for what reason are you using Wii Video, you can put in school or education. You can say I am a student and then go ahead and choose K-12. And then it says, how much experience do you have with editing videos? You can say whatever answer is right. I'm going to put, I have a little bit of experience. And then go ahead and click start. When this screen comes up, um, you can just say start editing. This will bring you to the editing screen. So this is where we're going to spend most of our time during this project. But before we can start, we have to get all of our clips that we save to our Google Drives into WeVideo. So the next thing you're going to want to do, and the last thing we'll do in this video, is to go ahead and click the Upload button. Now, you'll see right here that one of the choices is to import from the web, and that's the one we're going to choose because we want to go get the video and pictures you have in your Google Drive that you're going to use for this project. So you'll see here that Drive is one of the options. So you can click on the Drive button. And once that comes up, you're going to choose Connect to Google Drive. Another window will pop up, and that's fine. Just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and sign into our VCS Badgers account. It's now going to ask your permission to do all these things. It wants to know who you are on Google, look at your email address, and look at your Google Drive. And that's all okay. So you're going to choose Accept below. Once you're into your Google Drive, you have to choose which files you need. If you just have one video, that's fine. But for me, um, I don't have a science video, so I'm going to actually make a video of my dog. So I put all of the files I have in this one folder, and there's quite a few because I have both pictures and videos. So go ahead and select all the ones you want to use for your project. To select multiple ones at one time, you can hold down the command button and then click with your mouse. 
and that will allow you to pick a whole bunch of different files at one time. So you just click all the ones you're going to use, and in my case I'm going to use every single one in this file, and then choose Upload. Now it will start uploading your project, and this may take a little bit depending upon how quick your internet is. You can see here that it's all uploading. Once all of the items under your status say done and that they're uploaded, we are ready to go. So you can switch back over here to the storyboard view. And there, over here, you'll see all of the things that you just uploaded up in your storyboard view. So that is where I'm going to end this video. In the next video, we'll work on putting all of your different video clips and images down into your storyboard and start putting them together into your movie. Thank you.